Hello, welcome back to Inside Camp with the Under 23s. Chris Carulli here with Louis Dorigo and Joe Gauci. Boys, how's it going? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very well, thanks. Just getting into camp. One of our last days here up in Tashkent in pre-camp before we head down to Kashi tomorrow. Um, Louis, I'll start with you before we ask Joe about the same thing, but how did you find the trip over here? Yeah, the trip was very long. Um, we started in Melbourne, straight from the semi-final. Um, we had to stay the night in Melbourne, then go straight to, to Singapore. We had a seven hour flight and a five hour stopover, which was pretty frustrating, but yeah, it was, it was a long day. And then we got a flight to, to India, then to Tashkent. And then as soon as we got to, as soon as we landed in Tashkent, our bags weren't there. So it just topped it off with a, a great 24 hours. Yeah, it's been a tough week, eh, hey, Joe, with the, yeah. the bag situation. Sorry to bring it up again. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit shambles. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think just three flights and, you know, stopovers, things like that. The boys got their bags yesterday, but mine's still waiting on mine, so. You've been I have right to wait to another, I think I've got to wait another week now, so. Oh. Luckily, I don't need too much. Got the boots, got the gloves, that's all that matters. Fair enough. Um, how's training been last couple of days? We've got plenty of amazing footage, including a certain goal. We'll, we'll run the clip here, but yeah, tell us about how training was yesterday. Um, yeah, obviously we've come a couple of days later than the boys, but when we got here, we had a, a day to do a bit of recovery um, with the SNC. And then after that, it's been straight into, you know, full training. It's been really good, really hard, but really enjoyable. And it's good to, to be here amongst the boys ready for, mm. for the tournament. Yeah, environment's been good. Um, it's my first experience of of sort of a national team camp. Um, I've had a bit of a taste of the Socceroos earlier in the year, but to be in a proper camp now preparing for a tournament, it's been good. Uh, I think the environment is the environment has really not surprised me, but it's been, you know, a pleasant surprise in that um, you know, everyone's really hungry to to get better and improve and, and work hard. Um so I think the tempo in the in the training, so I'm not sure if Louis agrees, yeah. but the tempo has been yeah. Really good, really high. Um, would have seen it yesterday with some of the, you know, the small-sided games. There's good competitiveness amongst the group. Everyone wants to win, so you know, it's putting us in a in good stead for the the upcoming games. Yeah, you mentioned that Socceroos camp that you were in a couple of months ago. Uh, what did you take out of that? You feel like that helped you heading into this? Yeah, it was good to have a little bit of exposure. If anything, it was just more motivation to try and push to get into the this 23s um, team. Um, I guess. Having a little bit of a taste and seeing the quality kind of gave me a bit of an insight as to what it takes to, you know, get to that level. Um, but no, it's been, it was good. Um, but yeah, it was really just motivation for me to go back to Adelaide and try and continue on with some sort of form to, you know, put my, put my hand up for this. And yeah, Louis, you've had some previous experience with the youth national teams as well. I believe you've played in Cambodia and, and Vietnam. A um, couple of tours that maybe give you a bit more experience in Asia compared to some of the other members of the squad, do you think? Yeah, yeah. I started my first camp when I was, I think, four, uh, 14 or 15. And it gives you an insight as well, not just the football side, but the life side of it. You, you look at Australia, how, how lucky we are to, to live in a good country. But, you know, I went to India when I was 15, just went to a hotel and then across the road, there's people just living in tents. And you look at how, how lucky we are to, to, to do what we do and to live how we live in Australia. Mm. And yeah, you boys are off a you know pretty solid season again with Adelaide making the semis. Um, looking at the squad you've had, everyone talks about you know the youth that have come out of the club the last few years. But even a year or two, did you guys think, maybe say come the start of the season, did you expect that you could have five members of this 23 in this squad? It's quite solid, hey? Yeah, I think optimistically we would have liked to think so but you know it's pretty hard to have five of us that have sort of played a part in the team this year um you wouldn't really expect that you know it's nearly half the team you know half the starting 11 so you know it's been good um i think all of us boys here have kind of chopped and changed throughout the team i think we've got such a great depth in the squad that it's been hard to really cement cement the place for everyone so you know, I think that when everyone has played, they've played a part and had a big impact. Um, and, you know, had gained that little bit of experience of first team football. You know, Louis's been around and been playing for how many games do you play now? 60 odd games. Yeah. At what, 20? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, he's got, got more experience than me. You know, he's played a lot of football at, at a high level. So, you know, that's, that's the sort of thing you need in this sort of tournament. 
Yeah, definitely. You guys have probably had some battles on the pitch with some now teammates. Are there any of the boys that you're caught up with that you know you've had ex certain experiences playing against over the last few years? Yeah, I think Allo's still talking to me about the winner he scored against me last year <laughs> and went and danced in the corner. So, um, no, nah, you know I know I know a few of the boys from other clubs as well. So it's good to you know kind of catch up and be teammates again. But yeah. You're always battling against each other, but when you come into something like this, you're your best mates. So uh, it's been good. I've, you've obviously know a few more of the boys yeah, from I, AIS and things I like that. I knew a few of them from the AIS, and you know, to see us come from when we were 14, 15 to come to play against each other in the A League, and then to come back and be in the you know Australia camp together, it's good to to see everyone together here. But when you're on the pitch, you wanna you wanna smash them as much as possible. <laughs> Yeah, tell us a bit about the AIS, I guess, what the setup was like and why you guys have, you know, such a good bond from that. Like, are there any stories that you recall from that time? <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, it was like we were all living in, in one house. So we get up in the morning, you all catch a bus. We're all pretty much on the same streets. You catch a bus, you'd go to school. You'd be in the same class at school. You'd finish school, you'd catch a bus, you'd go to training. You'd train, you'd eat there or at your house, and then you'd, you'd get your sleep, and then it all starts again. And just the culture we had was was really good. And um, yeah, if you have a good culture off the pitch, you, you're gonna play good on the pitch. And I feel like if we keep um, trying to learn each other here, we're gonna do good in the tournament as well. Awesome, yeah, just one, before we get into a round of quick fire questions to wrap up, tell us a bit about how you guys are thinking of both of you heading into this upcoming tournament obviously it's it's a big opportunity not only to go for a result but also to continue your development yeah um i think it's really exciting you to you know play a part and hopefully create history being the first you know australian under 23 team to hopefully win the asian cup um so it's really exciting both for a team as a whole but you know also individually you want to play a part you want to be heavily involved in that. So no, it's really exciting times. Yeah, do you feel the same, I guess, about the tournament? Hoping to, you know, plenty of competition for places to sort of establish yourself in the team? Yeah, you said it You said it correctly. As soon as we've come into the camp, there's been everybody wanting to, to win and com compete for their place. And I feel like if a whole team is doing that, the, the team is going to do well on game day as well. Great, well, let's hit, in, let's hit these quick fire questions. <clears throat> No, you boys love them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> first up, I guess, when you're spending heaps of time in camp, um, what's your go-to game or activity to pass the time? Been Netflix at the minute. What are you watching? Yeah, finishing Top Boy Season 2 and Stranger Things yeah, Season just 4 just came yeah. out. So Ooh. I know Louis keen to smash it and so am I. Yeah, yeah, I'll be watching that on the flight tomorrow. But um, in between whatever we're doing, I've been, just, I've been playing cards with a few of the boys. And if you lose, it's it's brutal at the moment. You're getting neck slaps, so you don't want to lose. Yeah. Any other boys in particular really into it, or anyone who's copped it a bit? Yeah, I think um, Kai Truen's been copping it the most. I don't think he's he's good at all at cards. To be fair, <laughs> just just happy to be there. Eh? Um, similar. You mentioned you wanted to watch some of that on the plane, but that's the next question. How do you you know spend the time in a, a long plane trip? Trying to sleep, I think. Yeah. It's pretty hard to sleep. My neck was finished after those flights trying to sleep on the plane, but Louis was out. I think the whole flight from Singapore to Delhi, this guy was asleep. He was next yeah. to me, he was asleep the whole time. So. Yeah, yeah. The first seven hour, our first seven hour fly was in the middle of the day or just in the afternoon. So I didn't want to break routine. And then we went from Singapore to Delhi. I, I, I slept the whole time. But tomorrow, it's only an hour flight, so I'll try and get an episode. Yeah, next up. Uh, We've had a few strikers on, so that's why this question's here. It's a favourite goal you've scored, but of course, Joe, you know, I'll see if you've got a favourite save too. I already know what his favourite save is. <laughs> you've only scored one goal, no, so... And <laughs> <two>. <laughs> Dizzy said the same yesterday, don't worry. You've only scored one, so I already know it's in Newcastle, so what's my yeah. save? The save is Sydney FC at home. Against Woody. Against Woody. He's, yeah, he's, he actually mentioned it the other day, he was fuming about it. Yeah, so, yeah, still I'm pretty happy it. with that. I reckon I've watched it over a hundred times. Yeah. yeah, I'll take that. That's fair. And obviously, Woody probably has never watched it again <laughs> since. Um, that's great. Okay, past and present, world football. Is there a player that you would have wanted to play alongside? It's different for me. Like, obviously, I'm 
as a keeper, I'm not really playing alongside anyone, but uh, I would have loved to train with like Peter Schmeichel, have him like, you know, be an understudy to, to someone like him, you know, even uh, Oliver Kahn as well, sort of those different generation of goalkeeping, but to, would have liked to have like trained under them would have been pretty awesome. Um, past, I'd probably go Pirlo. And then now I'd love to play with Butzgetz or Pedri, which is a different class at the moment. Still Butzgetz as well. You see him against the A-League All-Stars. Didn't break a sweat. Killed it, that's for sure. Opposite of that question, player you wouldn't want to play against or have to mark or defend a shot from? Ronaldo. (laughs) 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 No chance I want to face one of his shots. In the middle, yeah, you'd have to say like, yeah, Messi probably. Imagine me as a defensive midfielder and he's just coming up against me. You want to play against him and experience it yeah. at the same time. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, you don't want to mark him there. Yeah, Jay and Tyrese said the same, to be fair. Yeah. Um, Alu said Lewis Miller, which was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, a dream club that you'd want to play for if you could play for any club in the world? Go on. A dream, a dream would be Socceroos at first. That's my biggest dream, but I think, yeah, Juventus would have to be my biggest club I'd, I'd want to play for, my dream club. I wouldn't really say a dream club. I just think I'd just love to play in the Premier League. Yeah, That'd just be, if I can make it there, even one game, you know, I'd be happy. <laughs> and finally, I, you boys aren't rooming together in this this tour, but no. um, we've had a few other boys who, are, who have. We've roomed so... together, have we roomed together before, Adelaide? I don't think so. No, I don't think we have. Okay. The question is best and worst roommates you've ever had. Oh, best and worst. Best and worst. Um, I've had, God, I've had a few. I've had, I've had, yeah, I've had a few roommates. They've been all good, to be fair. I've had an, I haven't had an issue with any to of them. To be fair, Billow's been snoring his head off this yeah. camp. But I woke up this morning at 20 past five just to him snoring. So I need to get like a nose plug or something because um, he's been snoring a lot. I'm trying to think. My f- probably my worst would probably be Yako because you wake up and just farting in the middle of the night. Yako. Yako. No, he's good. Um, no, I don't, I don't have an answer for it. Everyone's uh, room has been pretty good. There you go. It might be a bit of a reshuffle. I'm not sure what happens with the rooms after yeah. we head Everyone's down. Everyone's pretty laid back. Yeah. It's been pretty good. So it'll be good. All right, boys, won't keep you any longer. I think you've got some recovery to get to, but... Appreciate your time and yeah, all the best in the tournament. Look forward to seeing what you guys get up to. No worries. Thank you, mate.